In the world of digitalization, where the internet has brought people closer, it has also caused many issues in terms of cybercrime and theft. Many companies like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. have faced a lot of financial data breaches. Ethical hackers help safeguard these systems and protect the organizations against malicious hackers. As a hacker, one should have excellent knowledge of programming and coding skills, which will help in cracking passwords and compromising with web surfers. Having a certification in ethical hacking will provide you with a good number of job opportunities. Hello, everyone. I welcome you all to this session on what is the Certified Ethical Hacker Certification, version 12. The CEH V12 by EC Council aligns with the current market requirements in cybersecurity. But before we get started, if you do like our videos, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to receive constant updates and notifications. If you're interested in an online certification course, please do go check out the link in the description below. So without any further delay, let's discuss today's agenda. The first thing we'll discuss is who is a certified ethical hacker? Why become an ethical hacker? And how to get started? We'll discuss the importance of getting certification on ethical hacking, which is CEH version 12, and see how it is different from CEH version 11. We will then talk about the exam pattern and the domain-wise question weightage. After that, we'll go ahead and talk about the different job roles that you can get into after getting the CEH certification and their average salaries. Finally, we will end this session by talking about how to prepare for the CEH version 12 exam. So let's get started. So the first topic is who is a certified ethical hacker? Before understanding that, let's talk about who is a ethical hacker. An ethical hacker is a skilled professional who has excellent technical knowledge and skills and knows how to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in target systems. He works with the permission of the owner of systems. An ethical hacker must comply with the rules of the target organization or owner and the law of the land, and their aim is to assess the security posture of a target organization or system. Now coming to who is a certified ethical hacker. So the CEH is a professional certification that will teach you the latest commercial grade hacking tools, techniques, and methodologies used by hackers and information security professionals to lawfully hack an organization. And a certified ethical hacker is an individual who has passed the CEH examination after training from an accredited training center or self-studied to receive the CEH designation. But before you think of getting the certification, you should know why to become an ethical hacker in the first place. In response to the rise of computer hacking, reputable organizations, financial institutions, and government agencies hire ethical trained hackers to protect their data. There are plenty of opportunities for ethical hackers in India. According to the 2019-2020 Official Annual Cybersecurity Jobs Report, the need for information security professionals will result in the creation of an estimated 3.5 million unfilled jobs globally. By 2021, this sector will expand by 350%. In India, the number is expected to rise by 77,000 in the next five years. The average salary for a hacker in India is about 5.02 lakhs per annum for entry-level positions, and it can go up to 40 lakhs per annum. The highest paying ethical jobs in India might hunt for positions in prestigious corporations like Dell, Google, Wipro, Reliance, Infosys, and IBM. Now let's discuss how to get started with the Certified Ethical Hacker Certification which is the only globally recognized certification that offers expertise in all of these phases. CEH is a part of the practice of network assessment that are in progress, penetration testing, or other risk assessment techniques. With the evolution of existing technology and the rise of new technology, risks and threats of cybercrime have also increased. Ethical hacking is quickly shifting from an extra skill to a mandatory skill set for network security professionals. 
With the evolution of existing technology and the rise of new technology, risks and threats of cybercrime have also increased. Ethical hacking is quickly shifting from an extra skill to a mandatory skill set for network security professionals. Data science has become an integral part of enterprise across the world. So it's really important to have a strong data information asset protection system. There's a need for well-trained ethical hackers to keep data safe. There are increased job opportunities and revenue models. It's globally recognized and it's a renowned credential. And it's part of the practice for network assessment. And it's a mandatory skill set for anyone that wants to become a network security professional. So let's discuss what's new to the CEH version 12 exam. So the CEH version 12 recently introduced by the EC Council as the latest basic certification for cybersecurity as certified ethical hacker version 12. But many of you want to know the new features that are introduced in this new version 12 certification. The certification has a new learning methodology, which splits it up into four different steps. First, you learn, then you certify, then engage, and then compete. You'll be completing new challenges every month to test your latest job ready skills, and it's 100% mapped for the NICE framework based on the comprehensive industry wide job task analysis. The lab environment also emulates real time operating systems and networks and application platforms. CyberQ Hands-On Labs provides the latest OS covered and patched for a seamless testing environment. The CyberQ Engage range is a comprehensive on-screen guidance with TTP screenshots and step-by-step -step instructions and guides. There are also the global CEH community competitions where they have the updated tools and TTPs with updated versions of all the screenshots and listing slides and countermeasures. New to the CEH version 12, students will embark on their first emulated ethical hacking engagement. The CEH will teach you the latest commercial grade hacking tools, techniques, and methodologies used by hackers and information security professionals to lawfully hack an organization. The technology updates from version 11 to version 12 include the Matire attack framework, diamond model of intrusion analysis, techniques for establishing persistence, evading NAC and endpoint security, fog computing, edge computing, and grid computing. New to the CEH version 12, students will embark on their first emulated ethical hacking engagement. This four-phase engagement requires the student to think critically and apply the knowledge and skills to gain in the course. Learners will perform and capture a series of flags in each phase demonstrating the live application of skills and abilities in a consequence-free environment in EC Council's new cyber range. So the CEH version 12 will have some of the same concepts as the version 11, including reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access, clearing logs, and much more. This also includes cloud computing, enumeration, IoT hacking, and malware threats. Exam eligibility criteria. The CEH program requires the candidate to have completed the official EC Council training either at an accredited training center via iClass platform or at an approved academic institution where the candidate is eligible to attempt the relevant EC Council exam or the program requires the candidate to have at least two years of work experience in the information security domain and should be able to provide a proof of the same as validated through the application process unless the candidate attends official training. If a candidate has completed an official EC Council training either at an accredited training center via iClass platform or an approved academic institution, the candidate is eligible to attempt the relevant EC Council exam by paying $9,850. In order to be considered in the EC Council exam without attending training, Candidates must first be approved via the eligibility application process. The application can be found here. Prices for vouchers, links, and purchasing of websites and further information can be found in the description below.
The CEH exam code is 312-50. The exam price is 950 US dollars. It has 125 multiple choice questions to be completed in a matter of four hours or 240 minutes. And the cutoff varies from 60% to 85%, but an acceptable percentage is about 70%. The CEH practical exam consists of 20 questions in six hours, and iLabs is used for the cyber range in order to test the applicant's abilities, and the minimum passing score is 70%. The exam syllabus is split up into the following topics. This includes system hacking phases of attacking techniques, which comprises of 17%, web application hacking, which comprises of 16%, network and perimeter hacking, which comprises of 14%, mobile platform IoT and OT hacking, which consists of 8%, wireless network hacking, which is 6%, cloud computing, 6%, cryptography, also 6%, information security and ethical hacking overview, which is also 6%, and reconnaissance techniques, which consists of 21%. So in the domain of information security and ethical hacking overview, the subdomain would be introduction to ethical hacking. In here, the number of questions are eight and the weightage is about 6%. In reconnaissance techniques, footprinting and reconnaissance, there's about 10 questions. Scanning networks, there's about 10 questions and enumeration, there's about six questions. The total number of questions is 26 and the weightage is 21%. In system hacking phases and attack techniques, vulnerability analysis comprises of nine questions, system hacking has six questions, malware threats has six questions, which comprises of a total number of 21 questions and has a weightage of 17%. In the domain of network and perimeter hacking, sniffing comprises of three questions, social engineering comprises of five questions, Denial of service has two questions. Session hijacking has three questions. Evading IDS, firewall, and honeypots has about five questions. So the total number of questions in this section has about 18 questions, and the weightage is about 14%. In the domain of web application hacking, the subdomains include hacking web servers, hacking web applications, which both have eight questions each, SQL injections, which comprises of about four questions, so the total number of questions is approximately 20, and the weightage is 16%. In the domain of wireless network hacking, hacking wireless networks has about eight questions, and the weightage is 6%. In the domain of mobile platform IoT and OT hacking, hacking mobile platforms consists of four questions, IoT and OT hacking consists of six questions, with a total number of questions of 10 and the weightage being 8%. In the domain of cloud computing, cloud computing has seven questions and the weightage is about 6%. In the domain of cryptography, cryptography has seven questions and again, the weightage about 6%. Job roles and salary. Once you've completed the certification, there are several job roles you can apply for. One is the cybersecurity auditor, which approximately makes 6.9 lakhs per year. Then there's the Information Technology Security Administrator. Then there's the Cybersecurity Analyst, Cybersecurity Auditor, Cyber Defense Analyst, Cybersecurity Consultant, Penetration Tester, Manual Ethical Hacker, Forensic Analyst, Data Security Analyst, and Network Security Engineer, with their respective salaries in India shown on the screen. Now that you know everything that you need to know about the CEH version 12 certification, get started with your preparation right away. Get registered on our course on the CEH version 12 and bag that certification. So that's all it for today's session. See you again on our next video. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!